You are provided with a potentiometer, an ammeter, a voltmeter, standard resistor, and other necessary apparatus. Using the circuit diagram above as a guide, carry out the following instruction. Set up a circuit as illustrated in the diagram above. So we're going to set up this uh, circuit. We're going to set up the circuit and uh, carry out the experiment. But let's just read through the question and see how uh, it looks like. So, um, so close the key. So number two, we are going to close the key. Three, read and record the ammeter reading, I naught, and the voltmeter reading, V naught. When jockey J is not making contact with the potentiometer wire, OQ. Using J, make a contact with the potentiometer wire, OQ, at the point such that OP is equal to 10 centimeter. That's 10 centimeter. This is 10 centimeter. Read and record the current I and the corresponding value of the vote of the voltage V. Since repeat the procedure for other values of O P is equal to 20 cm, 30 cm, 40 cm, 50 cm, and 60 cm. Tabulate your readings. Plot a graph of with V on the vertical axis and I on the horizontal axis, starting both axes from the origin. Determine the slope S of the graph. Then determine the value of V when I is equal to zero. So what we're going to do, we're going to um, draw the uh, setup. We're going to look at the setup. Let me just explain how the setup looks like. So we have the voltmeter connected across the terminal of the potentiometer wire. Then we have, this is the jockey, and we have the ammeter, and we also have the key connected to the uh, battery and battery connected to the resistor and the other side connected to this. It's a very simple uh, connection. So I'm going to carry out the connection. Then what I'm going to do is to draw a table of what is required. We have OP 20, uh, we, are, we are going to put uh, determine OP as seen from the question. Then we are going to determine uh, the current. We are going to read the current I and the voltage. So these are the three uh, values that we will be requiring on the table. So I'm going to draw that table now and I will continue with the experiment. So we have been provided with all our materials. From the circuit diagram, we have the point O of the potentiometer is connected to three different items. One line goes to the voltmeter, one line goes to the jockey, and one line goes to the ammeter. Then from the ammeter, we move to the key, the key to the battery, from the battery to the standard resistor, then to point Q of the potentiometer. So now we're going to connect all the wires and start taking our values. So we open it first and I like to open it fully so that nothing stops you from tying everything. So you joining those three wires together? Yes, you can join the three of them together because putting them individually can lead to some headache. So it's best to tie all of them at once before putting them in the potential Yes. Yeah. So the three junction leads to the... One to the jockey, one to the vote meter, one to the ammeter. And the other one to the ammeter band, okay. Then we can lock everything in place. Make sure to ensure tight connection of wires. It is a precaution when doing practical on electrics. Then we set it to ampere. It sets the um, ampere. This is an ammeter. We connect the second end to the key. Open it. Open the key now. Move the hand. Okay. Then we connect the key and the battery. And from the battery to the resistor. Then the other end of the resistor to the potential. 
Oh, and how are you? Then circuit goes back to the voltmeter because the voltmeter is connected across the ends of the potentiometer. So we can use the so yeah, the, uh, wires the wires together. together okay. before putting them around. Okay. So is the circuit complete now? So the circuit is complete because everything we need is connected and again ensure that the connections are tight so that your circuit will allow easy flow of electrons and you can take your values without okay. it. Okay. So we are going to set the ammeter to 10 amperes because that's what is on here. So we are going to set the ammeter. So now the readings that is going to measure will be in amperes. That's to measure the currents. Okay. Then for the voltmeter, we're going to set it to 20 volts. 20 volts. So apparently, this uh, this side is for the volt. And this one is always constant for all of them, right? Yes. And this side is for if you want to use as ammeter, you put it you here. Put it here. Okay. So you set it to volt. So the difference is clear. So this is the ammeter. It's placed here, and the voltmeter for the a uh, common uh, terminal is always placed here. Okay, so, so we are asked to take our readings V naught and I naught when the jockey is not in contact with the potentiometer wire. So I'm going to close the circuits and take my reading. So, what's the voltmeter reading? We have V naught as 1.2. 3, 6. You can ignore the negative sign there. Then we have I naught as 0 0.29. Okay, so let's so record that. Reading, we have I naught as 0 0.29 and V naught as 1.36. Okay. Always remember your units, amperes and voltage. So we're going to take our measurements when you Chucky is in contact with the potentiometer at 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, and 60 centimeters. So we will start with 10 centimeters. Ensure you don't slide your jockey over the potentiometer wire. You place it once. Then we close the key. And okay, the voltmeter reading. No, I just want to say the voltmeter reading is one point four zero, and the ammeter reading is zero point three one. So we're so going to remove the key. Always ensure you remove the key when you're not taking readings. Then we're going to record that the voltmeter reading is one point four zero, and the ammeter reading was zero. Point three one. Point three one. Three point three one. Now we're okay. going to record for two. So uh, what will happen next is that we we'll just uh, take the readings and record, start bringing it uh, here to. So then after that we we'll come back and uh, show. so just take the remaining readings. Let me. Uh, Let's take the remaining readings. So the voltmeter reading is 1.38. What's the current reading? 0 
0 0.33. So move it to the next one. The vote meter reading is 1.26. What's the current reading? 0 0.32. 0 0.32. 0 0.30. 0 0.30. I'm trying to think it's supposed to be increasing. Okay, go to the next one. Checking 30 again. Check 30 again. So we have taken our readings at 20, 30, 40, 50, and 60 centimeters. Oh, yeah. So as you notice, the values of our currents, they are decreased, they, they are increasing as the length increases. So you notice that there's a trend here in the current. So if you notice that any value doesn't follow this trend, you can go back to your circuit and re measure the current again. While the value of our voltage is decreasing as the length increases. So if any value doesn't follow the trend, you know that there's a problem in your circuit. Say something. Say something. So I'm going to plot the graph. Thank you. This is another possible question that why I can bring out for students that are writing physics practical. So we hope that we have shown you what you need to get your A1 in physics and last your practical. Thank you. Make sure to follow this channel and support this video and support this channel. See you in the next video.